The following segment is sponsored by Smith Injury Law and 300hurt.com. If you are ever involved in a car accident, there are 10 critical mistakes that you should avoid. Richard Smith of Smith Injury Law has written a book about that. Good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning, Margaret. Um, before we break down those tips and talk about the book with our viewers, tell us a little bit about yourself and your areas of practice. Well, I've been practicing the law since 1987. I'm licensed in South Carolina and North Carolina. I handle automobile accidents, workers' compensation claims, and Social Security disability claims. And I handle most of the cases myself. I have brought on a new partner, Scott Becky, who has got over 20 years experience also in the same area. He's also licensed in North Carolina. So we have a good team. That's, that's excellent because people can contact Smith Injury Law and they will work directly with you or directly with him, not, not a group of paralegals. Why is that important? It's very important because some of these law firms that advertise so much on TV are basically big warehouse type effects. They don't have as much personal interaction with the individual attorney. And that's just my opinion. I'm not trying to compare services. The law doesn't let me do that. I can just tell you what we do. And that's what I've heard from other people who are no longer represented by those types of firms. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I would never allow at my firm because it's very important if you can talk to your lawyer and work with your lawyer one-on-one -on -one and not be somebody you never speak to, never talk to. Absolutely. Well, now let's talk 10 critical mistakes to avoid if you're injured in a car wreck. In that book you authored, mistake number one is failing to preserve evidence. What should that include? Well, the most obvious example of that is when you move your vehicles before the police get there and don't take any pictures showing where the vehicles were. I've had calls where people have then denied liability saying that the, lying about what happened in the accident because after the vehicles are moved, the police cannot really truly access, assess the facts. So that's why I say it's okay to move the vehicle if you need to, it's minor damage, but take pictures first before you let the vehicles be moved mm -hmm. so that you're not you know, having to deal with somebody who's lying about how the accident happened. Right, and you're not just taking pictures of the vehicles themselves. You say take them of the bruises, cuts, any other evidence that you might see, skid marks on the road, and it's also important to call police, right? Absolutely. Never don't call the police. I mean, you never know what can happen if you don't call the police. I mean, there's always difficulty proving what actually happened. You have to never take the defendant's word for it that, hey, I'll talk to my insurance company, and you talk to your insurance company, and... Uh, we need to call the police about this because then they'll deny the accident even ever happened. I mean, yep. There's no reason to believe them. Absolutely. Uh, call the police, document the accident. And if you need to move the vehicles, you can move them if you need to. In some states, in some parts of the state, they require you to move the vehicles out of the road. So I'm not saying don't move them, but take the pictures first before you move them. Show the impact, show the alignment. And then obviously you want to get to the doctor as soon as possible to document your injury. That's another major mistake that people make. Right, that's what we're getting to now is failure to seek medical treatment in a timely manner. Do you see that a lot? Often, I mean, people say, well, you know, I'm sore, I'm hurt, I'll wait and go to the doctor. Maybe they wait 10 days, 14 days, and they say, you know, this is not really going away. I need to go ahead and go to the doctor and get checked out. Well, now you've created a 14-day gap and the insurance company's gonna try to claim that the injury didn't come from the accident, but from something else. So it's better to get checked out either at the emergency room or by your family doctor as soon as possible after the accident to document the injury. Be sure and tell them, hey, I was in an accident, my neck and back are sore, my leg is sore, whatever your injury is, report it to your doctor so that the doctor would document it properly. Well, there's a lot of valuable advice, the things we've talked about and more in that book, and people can request it from you. The number on screen now, they can get in touch with you by calling 864-300-HURT or visit 300hurt.com. Anything else to cover before we go today? That's the main thing we're going to discuss today, but there's a lot of mistakes that can be made that are in the book, and please get a copy of it. We mail it out free of charge. You can go to our website and download it free of charge. It's information. Not so much about us, it's mostly about mistakes in car accidents. And our information is on our website, so you can research us. You know, it's very important, I think, if you're in an accident, research who you're going to pick as your attorney. Don't just pick somebody who's got a snappy ad or whose ad you see a thousand times a day.
pick the person who you think is going to help you the most and who will listen to you and actually represent you individually and not treat you like a number. Absolutely. You always make it make sense with us. So Richard Smith of Smith Injury Law, thanks so much for being here. And we look forward to uh, having you back again really soon. Thank you.